Shamshir the lion flicked his mane and said aloud to himself, Oh, you handsome lion! There was no doubt. He was the best looking lion of all and he won the Looker of the Pride award every single year. Shamshir would spend hours grooming for he knew that all the lions envied his glossy coat and shiny mane. There was only one small problem. Because Shamshir spent so much time on looking handsome, he rarely found time to get himself some food. But Shamshir did not want to hunt by running after deer and rabbits and getting himself dirty. Instead, he lunched on pineapple jam sandwiches. But today, he had run out of all his favourite pineapple jam and his stomach growled. Shamshir was left with the only other choice of hunting. But the lazy, proud lion thought aloud. Well, I have brought such glory to the jungle and its animals. So it's the duty of the animals to take care of my needs. Why should I sweat and toil to get my food? My food should come to me without I having to hunt. So Shamshir sent a message to all that every day at noon, one animal had to come and present itself as his lunch. The news spread like wildfire and soon a meeting was held among the animals. Though there were many wise and strong animals, one of the most respected was a young hare called Harry. Harry was very smart and often had answers to difficult situations. Now, as Big Bro the Elephant scratched his head worrying about Shamshir's orders, Harry spoke. What is there to worry so much about? Husna the hippo said. Shamshir has ordered that one of us agree to become his meal every day so that he need not hunt. Who will agree to be eaten by a lion? And who will go first? <laughs> Harry laughed. Shamshir is a proud lion and it seems he is getting lazy too. Very well. I'll go as his lunch today. But she will gobble you up. Aren't you scared? Asked Montu the baby monkey. Ah, uh, don't worry about me, said Harry. And waving goodbye, he set off for Shamshir's den. As Harry neared Shamshir's den, he paused. I need a good plan to outwit Shamshir, thought Harry. And he popped in a couple of his favourite strawberry peppermints and chewed slowly on them. In an instant, his face lit up with a smile as a great plan formed in his brain. Thanking his trusty peppermints, Harry hopped quickly on towards the lion's den. Meanwhile, Shamshir was getting so hungry that he had even forgotten to admire his coat. When suddenly, Harry burst into the den. What happened? Y you seem very excited. Asked a surprised Shamshir. I, ju I just saw the most handsome lion ever. He's new to the forest and he was roaring loudly that there is no one like him. Said Harry trying to catch his breath. Shamshir frowned. Arr! Did you not tell him that I, Shamshir, am the best in the jungle? Oh, I, I did. I did, O oh Majestic One. But he laughed a loud mocking laugh. He then ordered me. Take me to him. I will teach this pretender a lesson. Shamshir was out of his den, stomping angrily, and Harry, hiding a smile, hopped forward. Soon the two reached an old well. He has made this his den. He's inside, oh great Shamshir, said Harry, pointing into the well. Shamshir leaned in and saw a huge, striking lion. He was shocked. The lion was indeed handsome. What Shamshir did not realize was that the lion he saw in the well was his own reflection in the water. Thinking it would scare the lion off, Shamshir roared aloud. His roar echoed back and Shamshir thought it was the other lion roaring back. See, see how he challenges you? Harry remarked. Well, then I will make him regret it, said Shamshir and dived in without thinking. Splash went the water and Shamshir realized that he had been fooled when Harry the hare laughed and called out. Ha ha ha! Hope the bath doesn't spoil your good looks, Shamshir. And next time you want a meal, go hunt for it yourself. As Harry hopped off, Shamshir groaned 
for now his mane was all wet